Hi everyone, it's Tamara here with another card making tutorial. This is a card that I made especially for Amy Young for one of the Sweet November Stamps Halloween pen pal swaps. I wanted to make my first ever postage collage and I thought as I saw Amy who had inspired me to do these postage collages, I thought this would be the perfect card for her. I'm going to be um, showing how I actually laid everything out and then the Copic colouring and just the quick card making tutorial. So I'll get started now just getting everything set out then we'll do the colouring and end with the card construction. I'll be using the Waffle Flower Postage Collage Mini Slimline Die plus its coordinating stencil for this card and using the Tricks No Treats Clear Stamp Set from Sweet November Stamps for all my images and also the sentiment. I've grabbed out my Misty and a piece of Copic Express at cardstock cut to size. Um, so it's just a little bit bigger than the postage die that I need, but that will make sure that as I line everything up in the stencil that when I cut it out, it will be perfectly placed. So I'll be using the witch's hand with the cookie first. And as you can see, sometimes um, it does move my stencil. So I'm just mindful of that to place that back in place. Now because I hadn't used this stamp before you did see me giving it a rub to get rid of any particles and I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp out all my images because it works really well with Copic markers. I'll pop the little vampire in the middle square and just line that up and centre him in there. And I'll close my door as you can see it did lift that stencil right up. My Magnets didn't seem to be holding it down very well, but it's really good. I've got that hand already kind of stamped, so it's easy to kind of use that as a guide when placing that stencil back down. I do like to double stamp to make sure I've got a good impression, especially around the edge of that stencil. So we'll pop the little girl in with her monster outfit and we'll have her down in the right hand square. Again, just using those other images to guide that stencil in place. Thought if I just move that um, bottom magnet up it hopefully will hold that in place a little bit better. So I'm just going to reline her up now that I've had to shift that a little bit but yet yeah, still kind of lifted that that stencil up for me so I'm going to have to learn the knack of how to get that in there. So I'll give her a stamp. Yeah she definitely needs an extra stamp. And so I got that down and now I think she's just missing a little bit down the bottom so I'll give her another quick press. And I will be using the bottle from Lucinda's Lair for this little top square here and I'll leave the top right hand rectangle blank because that's where I'll be popping my sentiment in place. So now we've got all our images stamped out we'll get that run through the die cut machine with that coordinating die. So I'm just going to line that up in place, tape that down with some uh, purple tape, so low tack tape, and I'll run that through my Spellbinders die cutting machine. And just to make sure I get a good cut, I'll run it through twice, and you'll see just how perfectly this die cuts out this postage stamp collage. Perfect. So now I'll pop on some music while I do the Copic colouring.
coloured the last two squares with the Monster Girl and where the sentiment goes off camera because it was done the same way as the other three squares. So to save some time, um, I didn't worry about showing you that. Now I've grabbed out my Misty again and the sentiment that I'll be using and we'll get that stamped up in that top right hand corner. I'm just using my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to stamp that out. So give that a good coverage and again I'll just do a double stamp to make sure we've got a nice clear impression and I'll set that aside to dry. Now that that's dry, I've cut a piece of black cardstock to go as a backing to that because obviously you do have those holes coming through. I've grabbed out some glue and I'm just going to pop it in the spaces around those little openings and we'll just get that attached to that black cardstock. So just kind of line that up so we've got a nice even black border on all four sides. And I've already cut and scored a purple card base and I will have all the measurements for this in the description box below. And using my tape runner, I've just popped a bit of tape on the back and we'll get that attached to our purple card base. It wasn't quite lined up, so we'll just try that again. And now that looks perfect, so I'll give that a good press down. And this is the finished card project for today. Now, as you can see, I actually forgot to use all my little postage stamp um, elements that come as a separate kind of stamp set. I was just so excited and wanted to get this off to Amy as soon as possible. I forgot to finish it off, but I will remember to use them on my next one. I hope you've enjoyed this card making tutorial. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see any future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.